Somebody asked a really good question, an interesting question to me. The question was paraphrasing, should I go to grad school, like after uh, finishing a bachelor's of engineering or anything? And uh, so I had to tell you my answer to that, because back in the day when I was in fourth year and the, all the, my friends and I were all interviewing with uh, companies that came calling to hire new engineers, uh, you know, there's gonna be money here, which is very appealing. I really felt inside my heart, not to sound corny, uh, that something was left undone. It wasn't finished. I couldn't say why, but I just felt I needed to to uh, do a master's in engineering. Uh, if I didn't, I thought that I felt there would be regret. So I had that feeling. Now I did interview with the companies just for practice, but I pretty much decided over a period of weeks or months that yeah, I, I pretty much have to register for a master's. And I did, and and I did come back. So here, here's what happened. Here's what I discovered. A few things surprised me. Go back to school in the fall, and the first thing, the most noticeable thing was all my friends were gone, almost all of them. So it was quite a lonely thing. Uh, there was a fair bit of self-doubt. Like, I really felt like I'm in a little boat that's pushed off from a dock where nobody is standing, and I not even know if I have any oars and it's a calm water and I'm just going out and I've no, it's completely uncertain. So there was that feeling. The other thing I noticed was uh, that the profs that I had seen for the past four years, and I didn't think anybody noticed me, uh, but actually as much as I recognize them, they recognized me and they will recognize you too. So when I came back, I remember one of the profs saying, you know, I'm just sitting in a classroom with a bunch of people, strangers that I don't know. These are people in, in private industry, older people as well, who've come back from, from come back to university to freshen up some skills, or maybe they're declared in a program, I don't know. Maybe one or two friends that I recognize from uh, undergrad were there. But the prof looked up and said, oh, you're back. Nice to see you. And it was sincere. So that was surprising. Also, all the classes were in the evenings, not during the day. And there were no more of those time vampire labs to do. Oh, my God, what a relief. So the master's program that I did was by thesis. So that meant the first year was two terms of three courses per term. That's six courses. And I could pick whatever I wanted to. Had to find a thesis supervisor. That was no problem. Uh, and... Uh, uh, so, and all the classes were in the evening, which was different, which left the days free. Now, there was a stipend, which was money to, not much money, but a little bit of money, and the strings attached to that where I had to be a teaching assistant, which meant I had to do the kind of work that the profs didn't want to do. I had to mark papers and, and uh, sit in tutorial classes and, you know, shepherd students and so for undergrads. So that was no problem. Um, and... Uh, uh, yeah, and there was a little bit of money. But the biggest change that I noticed was the change in the relationship between myself, and grad students, I mean, and the profs. When you're an undergrad, there are a lot of undergrads around, and the, you don't, I don't think of it at the time, but the main activity of profs isn't really teaching. It's, it's writing up proposals for grant money or contracts to fund grad students that they will graduate and to do research so they can publish. That's what their life is. And oh, on the side also, they have to teach these undergrad courses. There were so many of them. They were kind of like, uh, you know, something they have to kind of scrape off the bottom of their shoe kind of thing. It wasn't you no know, contempt or anything. It was just we were an imposition on their time. But when in a master's and a PhD type situation, well, let's say a master's type situation, the relationship is different. This, the, the tone is different. The tone from them to me was, you're with us. You're with us. We'll, we'll get you through. And uh, from my thesis supervisor, especially Jim, well, he was superb. Uh, it was very much, yeah, we'll get you through, you know, we'll get you through. Uh, and on the examining board during the thesis defense, which was a wonderful experience to have, I highly recommend it. It's your day, your creation of your mind that you're going to talk to about colleagues, professors, and they want you to succeed. They will ask you questions. They will, you know, put you through a little fire, not too much, just a bit. But remember, by the time the thesis is done, you are the expert. They'll ask some questions, but you really are the expert. So I, that was interesting to see the change in the relationship. 
And I know that if you go back for a PhD, the relationship changes again. It goes from you're with us to you are us, which is much closer relationship. So uh, altogether, uh, I really think that if you're asking the question, should I go back to grad school? You probably already have the answer. The answer is yes. And I remember talking to my mother, smartest person I ever met about people problems and, and uh, uh, re human relationships and so forth. And one day, she's a master teacher. She said, how's your thesis coming along? And I said, well, you know, I'm having a really hard time putting in eight hours a day to work on it. And she said, don't. You have the rest of your life to work, but this time of your life is never coming back. I live in Ottawa. She said, go skating on the canal, go to a movie matinee in the afternoon, read a book, buy a donut, buy an orange, have lunch somewhere, go for a walk, go for a bike ride in the summer. This part of your life is never coming back. It, 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 you, the rest of your life to work. This one isn't, so enjoy it. So, and I did, I did, I did not rush the thesis. So anyway, uh, you know, a tiny fraction of the world even has a chance to do, to ask the question, should I go to grad school or not? Well, that's a tiny fraction of a tiny percent have the chance. And if, and if you see that chance, my advice is take it. Hope this helps.